Alrighty, this video is going to be a real quick one. Just going to go over a few uh, things about mirroring groups of objects across and also just mirroring uh, within a single object. So, as you can see on my assassin bot here from the previous video, um, he already has uh, his, his pieces mirrored across. I didn't make these perfectly on both sides. That would be a massive waste of time. Instead, what I did was I grouped and then strategically used pivot points and actually scaling to mirror across. So let's kind of reset this whole thing. Um, let me just grab all these, ungroup. Apparently it doesn't like that on ones that are not uh, grouped. You'd think it would know just uh, to ungroup the ones that are grouped and not bother caring about the ones that aren't, but that's Maya for you. Um, so let me delete the arms and legs. Of course, this would work for any part of the body, not just the arms and legs. That is symmetrical. And let me just explain what I did. So, um, if I want to mirror this whole arm, uh, and hand and everything else cross, I'm not going to use the mirror geometry tool for that. So the mirror geometry, um, we can maybe find a way to use that. But, um, for right now, let me just show you this technique. What I'm going to do is I'm going to think about every piece that I want to be mirrored across. And that would, in this case, just be all this stuff. And um, I'm going to just select all of it at the same time. And then, then what I'm going to do is create a group. Now, when I create my group, you're going to want to, or sorry, that's under edit. Uh, you're going to want to check your group settings um, and the default settings if they are the default settings, it'll actually be at origin. A lot of the times when I'm grouping, I will group pivot under center. And what that would do is put the pivot point of the group at the center, mathematical center of all those objects. But in this case, I do actually want uh, the pivot point to be in the origin. So origin means that when I create the group, the origin or the uh, pivot point will be down here at the exact middle of the grid. And what that means for me is that um, since I'm building my character perfectly across the uh, main prime, you know, axes of the scene, X, Y, and Z, I'm not modeling him way over in the corner somewhere. Um, what I can do is I can just duplicate this group by hitting Control D, and I can then just simply scale the whole thing to negative one X, or perhaps Z, if that's the way you're mirroring it. And now I just have these two groups, um, and if I wanted to, I could just freeze the ge freeze the transformations of the one that was mirrored. I could even just freeze the scale. Don't even necessarily need to uh, freeze the other stuff, um, and that will make it no longer negative. Of course, that doesn't necessarily matter right now. It would matter if we were kind of doing the final version. And the beauty of this is that we can just keep doing this over and over and over again. So if I wanted to delete this, you know, if I, uh, sorry, if I made some changes over here, like I, I uh, you know, continued modeling or adding more things or whatever to uh, this side of my model, I could simply just delete that and then mirror this across. Now, if you want to be very clever about that, now that we, you understand that main concept, um, what you could try doing is the exact same steps up until the point where you make the group. Um, but then rather than just duplicating it and putting it at negative one scale manually, you could go edit, duplicate special, and make your geometry an instance, and then say negative one scale here, and just one copy. And when we do that, it'll look like everything's exactly the same, except the only difference is that since this all this stuff is now an instance rather than an actual copy, uh, whatever we do to the original on the left or the right side, depending on which side you're working on, will also happen on the side over the other on the other side. Now, the only problem with that, or not necessarily a problem, but the only uh, thing you might want to take into consideration is the fact that sometimes it's beneficial to keep one version unchanged and the other version changed so that you can compare um, what you just did. So what I mean by that is if I mirror the, this side across 
I might want to leave this side untouched so that I can compare and contrast what I did uh, on the right side. But of course, there are other solutions to that too, such as simply just duplicating the arm and putting it off to the side somewhere for future reference. But yeah, so the instance um, could be an interesting thing to use. And then let me just show you one more thing down here. Um, I'll do the lit. Now, normally I would just do exactly the same thing that I just did on the arms to the leg, but this time I'm still going to group it. Still going to leave it at origin. And this time I will try using the mirror geometry tool. Except, so I just reset my settings there. So for the mirror geometry tool, again, this is not typically how I'd want to use the mirror geometry tool because normally that's just a uh, mirror actual solid me single meshes. Um, but what I could try doing is um, mirroring, uh, actually, let's try world. I don't need to cut geometry. In fact, we could even do a, an instance here. Um, and we don't, we don't need to check combine with original. And that will kind of work. Um, the only problem is that now it's considering, um, you know, the only problem is now, now it's considering um, this, these two things as solid, you know, single pieces. So uh, they didn't make a separate group. It just mirrored all of the pieces and made them combined objects. So I don't recommend using that technique um, for mirroring things across. It would technically work. And of course, we could play around with some of the settings. Uh, just because we tried one thing doesn't mean that's the only thing we could do. So we could try uh, making that an instance. Um, mirroring across world. And then hmm, I guess that does actually work. So that's almost like an easier version of the the instance that I just did with duplicate special. It's just that you have to really make sure that you are checking the proper settings. Um, and I guess while I'm in here, I will just do one last mirroring topic, which is actually mirroring pieces of geometry. So for example, um, if I wanted to mirror this piece across, uh, this is just a single piece now, so I'm not talking about whole body part or whole uh, you know, groups of meshes. If I just wanted to mirror this across, the first thing I'd want to do is make sure that the side I'm mirroring doesn't have any faces on it because I don't want um, those faces to be on the inside when it gets mirrored across, otherwise it'll mess up my model. And what I would recommend for this is to change the primary or the mirror axis position to bounding box because if we leave it at world, what will happen is it will just kind of like meld them together wherever it happens to cut across. Bounding box will put an imaginary box around the uh, furthest points of your uh, model and then mirror um, from that edge. So bounding box, you know, you could use with any um, any weird shape and it would mirror it perfectly across of this imaginary cube. And now I can see that uh, my, my mesh is not actually centered. So that uh, might also give you some important information if you use the bounding box mode. Now I left all the other settings on and for this instance, you know, so I had merge border, border vertices, blah, blah, blah. And that um, allows me to keep this all as one watertight mesh. Um, so I would, you know, I would end up using this quite a lot actually later on when I'm refining pieces of my model um, that are being symmetrical just on a single piece basis rather than on a um, whole area basis. All right, well, that's the only thing I wanted to cover in this video. Um, get used to doing that a lot because a lot of, you know, the more you can save time by mirroring and whatnot, and the faster you can do it, then the more time you'll have for um, actually working on the details of the model later. All right, that's it for now, and I'll see you later.